So I had a comment recently from Duck Anomaly saying, you should try Left 4 Dead 2 VR. I was like, oh shit, Left 4 Dead 2 VR is a thing? That, that, that sounds kind of interesting. I should uh, go have a look at this. I proceed to go down a goddamn rabbit hole. Who would have thought it? Gmod had a VR mod. The game where you mod things has a VR mod. I would have never guessed. You remember Gmod, the game you put thousands of hours into when you were a kid. <clears throat> Not this other game you're playing at the moment that you're addicted to. Don't judge me, alright? Shush. Gmod VR is exactly what it says on the tin. Gary's mod in VR. You can do everything the exact same as you would play normally, just in VR. There are also mods made for this mod to work in the game. Like the one I'm using here, a guy called Arctic has basically ported over all of the CS source weapons into VR and actually work in virtual reality so you can actually reload them manually and everything. And I'm sure you've seen from the gameplay, but the game supports full motion tracking as well. As well as it is compatible with other mods. Some other mods, I have to stress that enough, some. Just be careful with player models, it sometimes does break them beyond recognition. Oh god, <laughs> it doesn't work well in VR. <laughs> what have I done? Okay, nice, you got it working, let's go. <laughs> so it, it supports motion controls, my left control doesn't really work. Left it in VR is actually so goddamn good. It's such a different way to experience a game. I've played through the game years ago, and playing it through VR is actually 10 times scarier. The horde literally run at you so fast, that it makes me jump every time. Uh oh, tank, 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 oh my god, stay away from me please, you don't want me, Oh, maybe you do. Even with the lack of motion controls, you'll still have a blast playing this, literally was going to play for about an hour and I think I recorded for about two hours. These VR mods do breathe fresh air into these older games, makes them feel like brand new. There is however only one problem with these mods, they're really goddamn heavy, because they're not optimised and obviously made to run in virtual reality, you're going to have to have a beefy computer to run this stuff. I should see that in next games. I tried to get Resident Evil 8 to work in VR, but for some reason the game would go green and I felt like my GPU was about to die, so I swiftly uninstalled it and tried Resident Evil 2 instead. This is terrifying. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna even have a heart attack playing this game. Whoa. Um. I'm now flying. Um. I don't think this was supposed to happen. After this flying glitch, I had some more problems and definitely just wasn't too scared to continue playing. It's basically like half of Alex. Got the same sort of. The Half Life 2 mod is probably the most polished one on here, as it's an official mod and it's actually on Steam. Like Valve endorsed it. It wasn't made by Valve, but they've allowed it on their platform. And here we are in one of my arguably one of my favorite parts of the game. Double kill. <laughs> oh god. The guns in the Half-Life 2 mod feel exactly how you would expect them to in Half of Alex. It's insane. Having the mod work this way makes it feel like it's official. The game feels exactly the same as Half of Alex. In some parts, it's identical. On top of just being an amazing game in general, the Half-Life 2 VR mod makes the game feel alive. It's such an amazing mod and I recommend you play it. And that's it from me. If there's any non-VR games that I miss that have VR mods, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to give them a go. That being said, make sure you like, subscribe. I'll see you in another video.